All right, guys, welcome to step four in the Kite Game Boy Zero build guide. So uh, this is gonna be front modifications. Uh, first things first, we're gonna have to start removing some of these pegs. Um, I do that using some flush cutters. So basically just have to get rid of some of these pegs that are in the way of our LCD bracket and our button bracket. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just figure that out now and mark them off, so. All right, so that's gonna be your cut guide. Not sure about this one right here. Um, I'll figure that out after I get these guys out of the way. But yeah, that looks about right. All right. Start clipping these guys off. All right. looking good all right so, next step, um, you're gonna need some files like so. Um, I like these little small ones just because they're easier to work around with these Game Boys. Um, I'm just gonna go through and kind of clean up some of these edges a little bit on these posts that I just cut off, um, and then we'll move on from there. All right, guys, uh, so next step is going to be cutting out a rim for our screen protector. So we're gonna wanna utilize as much of the LCD as possible. So we're gonna leave about a millimeter of casing and then cut out the rest here around the screen edge. Um, what I'm gonna use to help score this is uh, like a little simple, uh, what are these called? Kebab skewer. So I did this with my first build and it actually worked out pretty well. Just kind of measure out and that way you have a little guide. I'm just going to cut a little bit more of this off. So that'll end up working out perfect. So then what you can do is just take your X-Acto and you want to be really careful doing this. Obviously you don't want to cut your fingers up or anything like that, but we just want to make a, enough of a, of a score so we can just easily guide the rest. Good enough for right now. We'll go back over and clean it up with a uh, with a file afterwards. So go ahead and make another one. should be good enough. So a couple of different ways you can go about doing this, this part. Um, you can just continue scoring 
until uh, it comes apart. Uh, obviously you can use a Dremel, that would be a lot easier and quicker. Uh, last time I ended up just scoring this over and over again until I could finally uh, get it loose. But just for time's sake, um, I do, I kind of want to try just clipping this. See if I actually, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Um, let's just get to scoring. All right, there we go. A lot of scoring, a lot of cutting, and then I ended up using the uh, flush cutters to go ahead and pry them out. So now that we've got most of the material out of the way, I'm just gonna go back through with a file and clean up these edges. All right, guys. So, still got a little bit of uh, touching up to do with the, uh, with the files gonna clean up these edges a little bit but uh, yeah she's all done for the most part filed it down to about the perfect uh, millimeter that we need so that the black border around our screen will cover whatever's there and yeah should work out perfect all right so last and final step for oh I think it's the last and final step we'll see um, Next step is we're gonna have to mark and cut out our power cord slot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mark off where we're gonna be cutting at. Good. And then I'm going to use my flush cutters to just go ahead and snip. All right. Got most of the material out. Now we're just going to go ahead and clean it up with the file. All right guys, so I got my notch cut out for our charge port. However, the way that Kite's board sits inside of the case, it's really recessed back in here. So when you go to plug your cord in, it's not really it's not really going in all the way. So what I'm gonna try to do is add a bevel. That way, give our cord a little bit more clearance. So what I'm gonna do is just go at this at an angle, see if we can't get a bevel going on the outside of the case. All right, 
So I think that's going to be it for step three, front case modification. Uh, next video I will go over um, LCD install, we'll get our holes cut out for our XY and extra set of buttons on the front here and get our speaker soldered and wired up and I think that is it but we'll see you in the next video. Peace.